my channel, I'm Jen Gigetti. For those of you who are new here, I live with my husband Michael and baby girl Esther. Um, so I have an update for you all. We have bought um, a new block of land to start building again. So we'll have a build series coming up soon. Um, and that's pretty much the highlight of this video. Uh, otherwise, we've all been very sick. Um, Michael and Esther were sick last week, which you would have seen in my videos, and then I caught it. Um, so I've been sick this week. So yeah, I also want to talk to you guys about maybe reducing my videos to one video a week. I usually promise two, but at the moment it's just been really unrealistic with everything else going on. I do want to get back to two a week, but at the moment I just think one is good. So I'm going to go ahead and limit myself so I can bring you guys something that's actually like good rather than just like bits and pieces. So I think one video a week would be good for the next couple of months until the house is sold and we're resettled. Um, so that's that. But today I want to do Esther's um, foot mold. Um, I need to print out and laminate some flashcards for uni, so we'll do that as well. Um, just tidy up the kitchen and just some like general bits and pieces that I want to do. Um, and yeah, we'll just see how today goes. We'll go out and get a coffee, and I'm just trying to get better as well. So, um, but yeah, exciting news. So, maybe we'll go out to the block as well, and I'll show you guys like where we the views and stuff that we have, um, where we purchased. So, we have really nice views. We look over like a valley, um, with the kangaroos and stuff bouncing around, so it's actually super, super cute. But yeah, because I haven't been well, I just put off making this video because I just you couldn't even hear me speak because I was so congested and I'm still quite congested and I have like a headache and stuff but other than that I'm doing okay so I figured we may as well just jump on and do this video get it done and no matter how tired I am just plot along and take my time so I could do this video over two days I might do it all in one day I just I'm not sure yet they have released all my new uni work as well and I'm not supposed to go back for two weeks but I just figured if I can start getting things done now I'll just have an easier couple of weeks when I am back at uni so I'm trying to just do my readings and stuff like that now as well to like you know get ahead but it's very difficult at the moment with like buying the new house and now we've been house hunting um we're gonna go to the color room so I'll bring you guys along for that uh I'll try and do two videos this week. I don't know, like some weeks I will, some weeks I won't. So we are going to the colour room on the weekend. So I'll bring you guys along because that's like an exciting little excursion. But other than that, yeah, uh, your girl has not been well. <laughs> and we will, yeah, I'm sure it'll pass. But like the first week of having off uni just being not well, it just, I don't know, put me in a really down mood. Like I was like, oh, I finally get time to just relax and spend time with my daughter and all of that and I just ended up sick so I was just like not happy but like you know I should really be grateful for the life that I have I'm not you know severely sick or anything like that it's just a minor inconvenience so I should be grateful but I just felt a bit ugh, you know so and then yeah that's pretty much the update of my life right now so if you guys wanted to check out my Instagram, it's just jen.jadetti, so the same as like my um, YouTube account, and you'll see on there like the new purchase photo and everything like that as well. So if you want to head over there and check it out, you can. Um, but yeah, otherwise, let's jump into this video. The other thing I wanted to tell you guys was I actually have limited my um, social media app times on my phone because I just found I was spending way too much time on my phone as well so I just wanted to give you guys that little tip if you find you're spending too much time on your phone you can go ahead and like put a time limit on it so I did that and we will see how it goes um but yeah I was just spending way too much time on social media and it was just not doing great things for me so I did that as well running through the last of my thoughts
tackling some of the housework I'm just going to print out my flashcards that I will laminate and fill out my calendar as well I'd like to do this to reset every month okay so on today two on to day two of this um get it done kind of video um yeah I told you that yesterday I wouldn't get everything done which is fine I'm more than happy to run my videos over two days that's great um basically we're up to date with the cleaning i just need to fold the dry washing and put it away laminate my flashcards, which we'll do um later in this video as well do esther's um hand and foot like ink molds we're about to go out to the cafe and grab some coffee so we'll do that and whatever else today brings um just trying to enjoy the sunshine enjoy time with my baby as well um but yeah i knew it was gonna run into two days i also have to stop in at um the store to drop an item off to get alterations so i'll go do that and just run some errands you know get on top of life a little bit <laughs> Running through the last of my thoughts Standing on the edge of my tongue Everything I know will be gone in a minute And that's alright Running through the last of my thoughts Standing on the edge of my tongue
So now that that's finished, I'm really happy with the end result. I do have more to make over time, but this will do for today. Now I'm just going to jump into doing um, some inking with Esther. This did not turn out the way I hoped, but I mean, it's perfect in that the fact that it's my baby girl and it's a memory because she didn't stop wiggling and I'm glad that they're not perfect because it's just reminds me of such a wriggly baby that I had and yeah I just absolutely love doing this little task with her so even though I did slightly um smudge her feet her hands didn't come out too bad but I feel like her feet definitely could have been better but um yeah it just didn't work out the way I anticipated but I'm not mad about that um <laughs> I tried so many random ways to do this as well and it was just not working for me but um yeah I just highly recommend like getting these little things for your children um because you know I feel like I already miss the size of her little hands and feet when she was such a noob and now she's like this nearly seven month old baby and I'm like where has the time gone like I don't even know but um she was just looking up at me here and I just gave her a kiss um it's just a precious moment that we shared together um so that was probably the best one that came out uh which you know it's fine as I said these are the memories of what my baby was like and I'm going to cherish these little inks forever um I don't think I'm gonna bother redoing them I think that you know they came out perfect and just the way they should be so I'm really happy about that um but yeah let me know what you guys do like to mold your baby's feet I did try these other molds but she just does not sit still so you know I'm thinking about trying some paint but I'm a little bit worried about like putting paint on her hands and feet in case she puts it into her mouth but regardless this was a super cute and very fun activity to do you guys enjoyed this video um, i'm just gonna wrap it up here but yeah i hope that um you guys enjoyed it and that it gave you some kind of um enjoyment um yeah i've just been like really trying to be transparent and real in my day-to-day -day, like life activities things that i'm doing things that i need to get done and just sharing them with you guys because i love doing that um yeah so this saturday we're going to the color room which is tomorrow so i really want you guys to come along and like see what we're going through in preparation for the new build um super excited about that so so happy to have shared that news with you guys obviously our house currently is still up for sale um so a whole bunch of things that we kind of have to worry about there like uh, when it sells they're gonna have to move somewhere where the new place is being built so just having your support in that time because it is going to be like a really hectic time but um i'm looking forward to doing this build journey all over again so yeah i hope you like this video um please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really supports me but other than that i hope that you have a lovely day or rest of the week wherever you are